Hello, I'm doing another UFPS tutorial here. I'm going to use this uh, soldier pack from Mixamo. Now I pulled this out, put it in a blender, and made some slight modifications. I have uh, arm material and I have a head material. Um, and I am also using uh, Ultimate FPS, uh, the latest version. This is 1.4.8b. And I have the latest version of uh, Unity, which um, happens to be uh, 4.6. Now under uh, UFPS base content, under the prefabs, you're going to find uh, the different players that are already set up. And I'm going to go ahead and use this Hero HD Weapons, which I've dragged into the scene. I made some slight modifications I just added uh, for the inventory. Um, it started out with this pistol, so I dragged an assault rifle, um, shotgun, and some bullets just to have something to start with. Alright, so I have my soldier pulled in. He is actually... Um, I've got the humanoid rig on it. Uh, this particular one, I don't have any animations uh, on it. Like I said, this is the Mixabo one, so it comes with the rig. You just got to change it to humanoid and get the sizing right. Because I pulled it into Blender, the sizing was different, so I had to change it to 1.1. Um, so the first thing we are going to do, so he's in the scene, is we are going to do a uh, set up the ragdoll. So normally you would go to Assets, Create, Other, and it will have Ragdoll. But since we're using the new um, uh, 4.6 version, we go to Game Object, 3D, uh, uh, Game Object, 3D Object, and then Ragdoll. And it's going to pop up the same Ragdoll creator that everyone is familiar with. So we are going to fill in all of these. I'm going to pause, fill it in, and then you can see it. Alright, so you'll see I dragged in the hips. I dragged in uh, left leg. And so on. So I've got the foot, so you follow it down. Uh, the right same as the left. Got the left arm, which happens to be under the spine. Forearm, which is actually the elbow. So you see it's the actual elbow there and the arm is uh, the shoulder. So I've got spine 1, which is the middle, and then I went down find the head, which is there, and then you hit create, and it creates your ragdoll. So you'll see, um, typically I modify the head. Um, so you can either leave these as uh, as is or uh, change them. So I'm going to change the name of this um, and I am going to put it in my prefabs. And then if you want to you can test it out to see how it works. Uh, now you're going to want to make sure that you don't have anything in this controller slot right here uh, because that will play animations and it won't allow it to fall. So when you hit play, it falls. And if you're happy with how it looks, then you can leave the ragdoll as is. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this to position 000 and I moved the um, Hero HD weapons player that comes with UFPS to the same location. Um, I actually had to rotate my ragdoll, not sure why, but change the Y to negative 180 so they face the same way. So I'm going to make the uh, ragdoll soldier a child of the Hero HD weapons, which is the UFPS player. So it's under. It's under the prefabs 
uh, players so it's this one right here you could also use this one or one of the other ones but I'm using that one so it's a child I'm going to turn off the hero um, and since we already have an animator on our ragdoll soldier I'm just going to, in this controller slot, I'm going to grab the UFPS one. If you want to know where it is, just look at the hero. Click right here, and it'll take you right to it. Then you can drag it on. So I've already got the avatar set up, which um, when I imported the model and told it that it's a, a humanoid, it set it up for me. Uh, next thing you want to do is the supply root motion uh, needs to be turned off. Uh, we need to assign the, if you go to assign the scripts, go down to uh, VP FP body animator. So we assign this script and we're going to need to find the head bone so that's going to be on your spine there's the head bone and you're going to want to find the lowest spine which for me happens to be this one right here um, then next, I, I'm not changing any of these um, next thing you want to do is you want to add the another script the VP ragdoll so VP underscore ragdoll handler you need to assign the headbone right here it's going to be the same one so you can either find it again or click right here and I'll take you right to it um, I'm going to go ahead and assign this invisible material um, easiest way to find it is look at your hero click right here it's going to show up and then you go to the ragdoll soldier and you grab it alright so now that we had all that um, set up um, sorry I had a little issue my the hips were rotated 180 for some reason so you might want to check that on your models uh, not sure how mine got that way so um, I hit the hero, got the ragdoll soldier, and if I hit play, hold on, make my game view bigger. So I can see the feet. Uh, now, obviously the arms, I haven't set up the arms, so you can see I've got nothing in my hands, but it's still shooting. So, see when I uh, click on V, the letter V, as in Victor, uh, it changes from first person to third person. So I've got the animations, he crouches, it looks, head look works fine. And the ragdoll works fine when I get killed. Uh, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is set up some of these weapons. So that when you come to this mode, it actually looks well. Okay, I forgot to mention. Um, you'll notice when I hit uh, when I'm in this mode, I can't see the head. So if we look over here, notice the head and arms are actually invisible. Now the reason that the head and arms are invisible on my character is because I went in and I actually edited uh, the Mixamo soldier 
to have um, a head component. So I selected all the vertices and assigned just a head um, material. And I did both the arms and I assigned an arms material. And then for the body, I just have the regular one. So the head for mine, it's exactly the same as Um, the body setup. Um, so that way, whenever you actually play the game, if you switch between the modes, the this invisible shadow caster is going to um, find your head and arms and turn basically swap out this invisible. Um, transparent invisible shadow caster with the actual materials that are here. So when we hit play, see invisible shadow casters replaced. And if I go to first person mode, a third person mode, you've got your head and your arms. So when I switch back, they're swapped back. So what it does is it finds head and arms and swaps them. So over here, see they're visible, invisible. And it then what happens here is it shows the arms or it hides the arms. So this is first person and that's third person. Uh, so in the next in next video or so what I'll do is I'll show you how to make uh, these different weapons. Um, so for the hero, for instance, um, same as same similar to to prior uh, versions of UFPS, uh, the difference is under this camera. So for this assault, this pistol, you have the normal first person, which is going to look like your arms holding it, and then you're going to also have the third person, which is a reference within your model to this actual gun. So you can see he's got the gun in his hand, and it has a uh, muzzle flash location and a location for the shells to come out. So we'll do this in another video um, just to help you get started. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Um, so if I went, so this is Blender. This is the latest version, um, 2.7.2. So what I did is I went import FBX and I grabbed my Soldier FBX. So I'm going to hit A, uh, right click this, hit M, I'm going to move it to this layer, and then if I go and look at my Soldier. So what I did is I, so you right click your soldier, then you hit tab to go into edit mode. Um, so what I did is I selected um, all of these vertices. So if you hit B, the letter B is in boy, and then you can select the vertices. Um, it's actually easier if you go to this wireframe mode. Um, so for instance on the arm, if you get the letter B, you can grab all of these, and then what you can do on your materials is you can assign an arm material. Um, So basically, see how it's a little bit uh, lighter gray here, and lighter there, and then this um, has a different texture. Um, so I just created these, I created two new textures called one head, called one arms, and pretty much assigned them. Uh, so when you look at it, I had to throw a, a light in here. So if you look at it in the uh, material, 
you'll see here's the original material my arms have a material and the head's going to 